great. We have our business Facebook site, and we have our installed. Now let's see what we can do with this. The next series of videos will break down the different things in small parts. Okay, in order to configure this, go down to your new spotlight button and click it. You'll get a window. It'll take you to And it's going to ask you to configure this window. Okay, let's configure the page tab. So we click here. Now one of the reasons, all right, there we go. So this is where we can now manage our, our app. You're at Woolbox, and everything you need is right here. You'll be able to uh, go through these line by line, and I'll explain each one. Let's see if it's changed since last time. Nope, here we go. Now the first thing we might want to do is change the button. The button on our, our app from the spotlights to something else. So all we have to do is go over here to the right and do tab settings. And here it is. Here's the spotlights. This is where we can change it. So let's hit change. We have to create the little button first. And so let's do that. Uh, let's go to our Photoshop and open up a new make it 111 wide by 74 and that gives us the size of that button 111 by 74 and I'll just do something really quick here now I know that blue is sort of like my uh, my button over there my whole interface Let's see so there's that and because people aren't familiar with those buttons, you might want to put some uh, layer effects on it so that it looks like it's uh, so that it looks like it's a button. And so I'm going to go to my layer effects. If you already know how to do, I'm going to do this this bevel and emboss just so that it looks like a button. And then I'll put something on it. I could put I don't know. Let's see. Uh, news. Okay, let me just change the color here so we can see what's going on. Okay, and this is wonderful where you can brand it and make it look however you wish. So you can make it a little bit smaller. Alright, this will be fine. There we go. So file, save for the web. Save. I'll go back to my desktop where I have, I'm keeping everything in my Facebook. I'm going to call this button 01. Okay, now I go back to my application and I can change it. Go to my desktop. Find my Facebook. Ooh, I gotta clean up my. There it is. And so I'll open that. There we go. And I'm gonna change the welcome to latest news. And then once I save my settings, make sure it actually saves. This is kind of a clunky thing, but. Okay. I think it might have saved it. Okay, now to get back to my page, I just go back up over here to view Facebook tab. And that'll take me to Facebook where I will see my tab. Of course, we haven't done anything with the tab yet. So we we'll just go to the timeline so we can look at our button, see if it really took took hold. Because like I said, sometimes it does, and so you know, I mean it's free. So okay. 
Okay, so let me scroll down. And you can see now I have my button with the latest news. So that's how you change your button. It's 111 uh, wide by 74. Click it again. You'll go back to your app. Every time you click it, you go back to that little app iframe. So my internet is kind of slow today. And then we're back in the tab settings and we can configure the page tab, which takes us back to that configuration app blue box. So that's how you change that little uh, button on your page. Now, another thing that you should be able to uh, pick up here is that this URL right here is, is pretty important. Suppose, for example, you have your portfolio on Facebook. Well, knowing this this little link right here is very important. When people come to your page, if you were to give them the link to your Facebook page, they would come to your timeline. And then they would have to scroll down, find that button, and then get to your portfolio. When you have this, you can put give them this link, and it takes you right to the app rather than to the timeline. So that little link there will take you right to where you want them to go to your portfolio on Facebook. See how it takes you to the to the app instead of the timeline. Okay. So that's how you change the button and that is the importance of that link. In the next video I'll show you the different things that you can do uh, with this particular app.